Hey guys, Penadaily here, and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Pardon me. In the last episode... Pardon me again. In the last episode, I got a really awful case of burps. Uh, we took on Bloodless. Between then and now, I did some extra grinding to get uh, dragon eggs and lemons. So, we're going to do some cooking. Because, of course, we are. Hi, Miri. What are we I also enhanced some time? shards, but... Uh, let's see. Wow. Um, you know, I don't think we've ever... Have... I I'm, I'm making this because I think we need it for a quest eventually. Knight's Curass. Okay, none of these are as good as things we've got. Good to know. Not done yet. Okay. Ooh, yes! Um, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna make these. Uh, regenerate. If you can get this to nine, it's on. I'll go with this. I don't think you really need to. Well, yeah, I do think it's probably good to make. Yep, yeah, and now I'm out of demon tails, so. Yeah, just, um, we're fine. All right, cooking. All right, we can't actually make any of this stuff? What can't we make? Can't make that, of course. Flan, okay, I need beast milk. Ugh, all right. That, I just need pie dough and sugar. I can make that, so I'm going to. So, let's see. What can I write on? I have so much stuff. All the crap, but let's see. Um, back up the lemon cream pie just to see. I need two pie dough, one sugar, chiffon cake. I need a. Yeah, I, as you can see, I got a bunch of dragon eggs. So two sugar, one mocha oil. Egg souffle. Th so that's three sugar now. One heavy cream. Okay. Stop back. Yeah, I'll be back. If I don't need the brigandine, I'll sell it eventually. But meh. Okay. I have something new. Yes, of course you do. What are you looking to buy? All right, I need three sugar. There Is we go. this right? Then we have a deal. I need a mocha oil. Is this right? Then we have a deal. I need a heavy cream. Is this right? Thank you. And I need two pie dough. Is this right? Then we have a deal. Thank you. I'll be here. Yep. I'll have to go get beast milk off screen, because that's one thing you can't ever buy. Hi, me. What are we transmuting this time? Alright, so now make a lemon I'll cream pie. We can't make Susie's next food All for right. a while, because we need the recipe, and it's farther ahead. Great. All right. And Great. that's good. All right. Stop back often. So let's cook that and then we're going to move on with the plot. Or eat eat what we cooked, I mean. Scrumptious. Let's see. Chiffon cake. And a nice souffle. All right. Pardon me. Uh, Have you? Here's what I've turned up. Okay, we've got some new um. Yeah. So arch demons. <laughs> Matthias, of course, Have named after. Here's what Matthias Cronquist from Legacy of Innocence. Soleu, from the Game Boy games. 
so Soleil Belmont, which I think it's supposed to be Soleil, but yeah. Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. And Carl, I think, is just Carl. Cooper, he's a Cooper, which means he makes barrels. Which I think is pretty cool. All right, so. Bat fang. Na 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 bat fang. Sorry. Well, no, I'm not really sorry, but hey. All right. Let's see. Is there stuff I could do? Mm, let's see. Nope, that's not where I want to go. That's where I want to go. Let's see. I suppose I should... Well, no, no, I gotta wait for another thing before I check out the Train of Evil again. Oh, I'm not looking forward to it. There is a guy on Train of Evil, and getting his shard is a pain in the tuchus. What's my shard set up? Brigastorama Tepsosius. Okay, that's good. I never remember. Okay. Yeah, you're 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 pretty dead, which is good. Right. Oh well. Screwed you too, dude. Obsidian, iron, melting skull, and alkahas. Okay. Okay, don't don't walk into the bone mort. That's just stupid. That's all right. There's a save point here, which I am going to take advantage of for numerous reasons. Yes. Save on this slot. Thank you. Yeah, the the problem's going to come, of course, once I've filled up all these slots and have to start saving over them. But oh well. So, that's a lot of gore. But you remember what to do. Yep. So I didn't have to save to refill my health, but... This made my switch freak out when I used it. Because that was actually, like, before the patch. So, yeah. That's... You can actually... You actually don't need blood stale... Blood stale. Blood seal to do this. Uh, apparently, if you move it right, uh, Reflector Ray will take you through this, but, you know, plot. Man, we do spend a lot of time cooking. Okay. Oh, jerk alert. There we go. There we go. Getting some nice money here. Yeah, you get you get a fair amount of money from the candles down here. Just stay here and that ought to kill you. Yep. <laughs> I think we set fire to a bat. Awesome. Okay, this is of course the uh, underground waterway and an arch demon. Hey, don't we have a quest to kill you? Yes, we do. And, uh, I think we're maybe gonna, uh, well, let's, let's head this way first. I'll come back and just kill him. There's gonna be a reasonable amount of those stupid guys. So don't worry too much about the, oh, by the way, something that you can see on your map. Do I have it? Yes, do you see that little green thing not too far below us? I'm moving the, th the crosshairs to it now. That marks where you can kill an enemy for a quest, which is really nice. So, something to keep in mind. Can't do anything here. That's a Fornius. They're fish. Can't get any farther this way. You can, however, kill Fornius. And in fact, they die reasonably fast. You're gonna want to kill a lot of them. So, just keep moving. Oh, that worked. Right. There we go. That at least looked good. All right, well, we might as well just keep doing that. Thank 
you. That was three. Four. I mean, there's enough of them, you really don't have to. Ow. There's enough of them, you don't really have to grind this way. But, ow, I thought I gotcha. Ugh. There we go. Oh, demon tail. Whoa! The knockback is really bad. And there you see why I am not too worried about my health. And that was the last one. Water leaper. They're annoying. Given how much damage they can do to us, even, you know, right now. Nah, hold on a second. Yes, we're going to save our progress. Yes, I want to save on this slot. Alright. <sighs> so, I hope everybody out there is staying safe and practicing appropriate social distancing. Which is not particularly difficult for me, mostly because I am a huge and introverted nerd and generally don't go out and do things anyway. Ow. Die. Oh, you. There we go. Ah. There will be a better place to kill that jerk eventually. Jeez Louise. Ugh. There we go. Yeah, those guys have a really great soul, is the thing. Er, shard. I'm impressed that this is, I think, the first time I have referred to souls instead of shards. I just really like killing those toads, your well, water leapers, because they're pains in my tuchus. There we go. Also, Tepsosius is really nice, and I should use it more. All right. This is a grind room. Okay, you're already dead. Uh, you know what? And we are going to do a short grind session here. I'm just going to do like 10. Really? These demon eyes, as I said, have a really good uh, shard. Two. I th it is. Three. I'm not going to get... It is basically the equivalent of peeping eye soul from the uh, thing. Peeping eye soul from the sorrow games. It lets you see breakable walls, especially here in the caverns. That is extremely useful. Yeah, as soon as I'm done here, once I go back to the other stuff, Okay, that was what, five? I'm gonna call it five. five. Four. The more you get, the bigger its range. Er. That was three. I think. I'm just gonna call this three. Three. I don't really need to keep getting all of these roses. One, one more, and then we'll move on. Darn. All right. No, wait. There we go. And we're going to 
change this from Augment Int to Detective's Eye. Now, you see this? Yeah, the, the, the more shards you have, the bigger the... I think. Yeah. As you rank up, it starts auto-collecting anything that you that your range touches. It's beautiful. We can't really go any farther down, unfortunately. Alright. Can we move, on, move right along? Aha! Yeah, meet the Decima. We need to kill eight of these guys. Unf uh, unfortunately, it's that's kind of difficult, but I'm going to do it here for reasons. And I am going to do this on screen. Because these guys are, well... Oh, good. Yeah, they do have a high shard drop rate. And the thing is, you need this shard. This shard, uh, yeah, you notice it doesn't use, um... It does not use any, uh... That's three, good. This shard does not use any magic because it's your only way to maneuver around underwater. That guy has a really good uh, shard for underwater use too, so... Rama works underwater. Oh, hey, thank you. Amphibian speed. Uh, that's that's nice, and I will use it a lot when I'm not. Um... Unfortunately, you cannot. Uh, there we go. You cannot open chests unless you can stand on the ground. So as I suspect you already know, we're gonna need something else. But you need this shard to finish the game. It's one of the few really guy dang it moments of this. Okay, I must have gotten it. Oh, okay, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we'll move on and come back and finish that quest. You do want to finish that quest. There we go. And we have a... I like opening this up. I always try and go this way first for reasons. Just die. Stream will it will hurt. Oh, you can die too because you're annoying me. Okay. Aquatic fillet is also a really good. Um, let's see here. What am I at? Twenty minutes. Okay. I will probably off-screen grind for um. What's it called? The, uh... I will probably grind for the Detective Eye Soul. Try and get up to nine shards. And also... Uh, probably grind, um, F Fornius. Because they have a really good shard. See, now I'm calling them shoals all the time because, yeah, because I did it once. Let's go back to Tepsosius for now. I want to favorite you as well. 
and favorite you, too. All right. Okay, you're dead. Let's see here. Okay, sure. Really? Let's try that again. And this is why you really like... Yeah, because I went right past that. Because there's so many of those breakable walls down here that you probably won't remember all of them. And your choices are then to... Oh God. Can we not? Body. Um, sorry. Ah, uh, come on. Let's see. Your choices are to... Just die. Thank you. You're still not dead? Um, right. Uh, the, the fish give you Va'isha. Which is a reasonable shard, but it can be made into Vashia. Which is what those demons use on you. Summon Bat, of course. And... Yeah, summon Water Leaper. Meh, Toad Heart. Oh boy. Right. Ow. <sighs> yeah, because as if it wasn't bad enough, now we have one just like the other place, only it's full of maledictions. Oy. So get close to every wall you see when you've got Detective Eye equipped. Because you just never know. The nice thing is it will tell you about breakable floors, which are sometimes an issue. Oh yeah, uh, let's see here. That's not what I wanted to do. That is what I wanted to do. I know I can do this. There we go. I just happened to know that one was a breakable wall. On shark back to detective side. Thank you. I just happen to know, but your memory will not necessarily save you, so try and keep detective eye soul on as much as you can. Man, those guys really like dropping their shards. There we go. I don't know why I bothered. Thank you. And we just got his shovel. Hearts are pretty nice. They're they're useful for other upgrades. Mithridate, even though those guys don't poison you so far as I'm aware. because it gets us you know, into there. Uh, we're going to save it right here. I'm probably going to come back here and save reasonably soon to end the episode, but not yet. <laughs> I'm going to get nine on that and not even care. Oh, well. 
Such is the nature of these games. And the nature of my really shitty platforming. Okay. Right, that is moving on. We don't want to do that just yet. We want to go up. Yeah, I thought so. Sometimes you can tell. Right. All right, up. Ah. And what do you know? Here we are. Can't do anything with that chest yet. We still don't have what we need. So, uh, just a quick check. Um, yeah, actually, we're gonna come this way and I'm gonna save it that other because there's some more ex exploration I want to do before we actually move on with the plot plot. Ow. Right, I'm still on the Kill all the frogs. Oh! Wow! I hadn't gotten their shard until now? Yeah, release toad. These are regular toads, not poison toads. Y'all can die and stop annoying me. Minor slowdown here. Can tell it's been a little while since we were here, can't you? Uh, so we're actually gonna save it here. Off screen, well, I don't know, maybe not, maybe not this time, but later. But we're gonna save it here. So thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play, um, this game. Maybe, or maybe I will go back off screen. Uh, thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, and I will see you next time. Have a great evening. Goodbye. Okay, so we're not going to be seeing any more Goetia demons until tomorrow. Except Gremory, but I'm saving her for reasons you can probably guess. So, what to do? Well, I decided to profile a Goetia demon that was featured in Iarashi's last Castlevania, Order of Ecclesia. So we're going to talk about the boss, Elagor. The fifteenth spirit in order is Elagos, a great duke, and appeareth in the form of a goodly knight, carrying a lance, an ensign, that's a flag, and a serpent. He discovereth hidden things, and knoweth things to come, and of wars, and how the soldiers will or shall meet. He causeth the love of lords and great persons. He governeth sixty legions of spirits. Ware calls the spirit Elagor or Abagor. Duplancy calls the spirit Abagor. The Castlevania game designers went with Ware. I've noticed Igarashi games tend to favor Ware in the event of a conflict, which is interesting. I've been using the Mathers translations mostly because the language is less archaic. An armed knight, depicted by Louis Breton on a horse, with a knowledge of wars and soldiers, turns into a giant, giant armored centaur who, like your mother, has eyes in the back of his head. Maybe that's because of the discovering hidden things. I don't know. As a Castlevania boss, he's about three times Shinoa's height. He's strong against fire attacks, duh, demon from Christian Hell. He's weak to blunt damage and thunder, both likely due to the armor. Maces had a tendency to do a lot more damage to knight armor than swords, and as for thunder, you don't want to be wearing steel breeches in a thunderstorm. He also has a sword for a tail, crossbows mounted on his hips, and is the boss of the arms depot in Dracula's castle. Interestingly enough, if you defeat Elagor without taking any damage, you'll get a medal. This is a mechanic that is carried over into Bloodstained. I'll talk more about that later, but just know that I am nowhere near good enough to be meddling any fights in any of these games. I mean, come on.